clinically, we often think of bleeding and blood clots as competing interests. So a lot of the things that we do to address bleeding can increase the risk of blood clots. And conversely, a lot of the things we do to treat blood clots can increase the risk of bleeding. So we wanted to do a head-to-head -head comparison of those two in a large surgical population. So we used data from the American College of Surgeons uh, using their National Surgical Quality Improvement Program database. Uh, we looked at almost 15 years of data, so millions and millions of patients undergoing surgery across the United States, um, all types of surgeries, and we used all of these data together and some very advanced computer techniques to try to compare directly bleeding and clotting in this data set. We wanted to look at the trade-off in terms of mortality, uh, so death after surgery, comparing these two competing interests. We found in every single year a consistent signal for bleeding. So bleeding had very high what we call attributable mortality, meaning death that you could say statistically was related to the occurrence of bleeding. Whereas in every single year, we didn't see that same signal for blood clots. I think that based on what we've seen in our database, bleeding is a very concerning complication after surgery. Uh, and that the existing treatment we're doing for bleeding may not be adequate to help prevent patients from dying. I would say that there is an urgent need to look at bleeding after surgery and better understand how best to treat patients in that situation in the hopes of preventing them from dying. I think what's interesting and unique about our study is that we took publicly available data. These are data that are published and collected by the American College of Surgeons. They spent a lot of time and effort collecting these data and collecting very, very high quality data. Then they let people, like myself, use these data to do very complex and computationally intensive analyses. Um, I, I think that these are data that anyone could use. Anyone could even try to replicate our findings. We've made our code publicly available, and they could certainly go and make changes to the analysis that we've done. Uh, so we've, we're hoping that giving that degree of transparency and letting other people have access to the exact analysis we performed will let providers feel more confident in applying our findings to their own practice. I think we could apply these exact same analytical techniques to other complications after surgery. Um, the National Surgical Quality Improvement Program is tracking dozens of post-operative complications. Uh, we've made our analytical plan widely available, uh, and with very small changes to our statistical technique, we could study other complications after surgery. Uh, and I would say it's very important to look at other complications, particularly those that are competing, uh, and try to get a better understanding of which complications are driving a lot of the death after surgery.